Hey everyone, back again. This will be day number two working on it. In the last episode, uh, April helped me kind of clean it out and get it ready to go, but today... We're gonna work on getting like the engine and transmission out of it. Now that it's all kind of cleaned up, really just need to try to get in there the engine mounts, uh, undo the engine mount, undo the tranny mount, and hopefully just grab onto it and lift it all out straight um, and get rid of it. That's just pretty much junk. The engine that was in it, the guy told us that uh, too little oil or too much oil or something, and it ended up spinning a bearing. So uh, I'm gonna go with probably too little of oil. And then looked at all the bedsides, all that stuff looks pretty good. Got the interior kind of cleaned up. Definitely I'm thinking, don't have a door panel over there. I would like to do some sort of different seats. I'm thinking a racing seat would be pretty good for this since uh, I like trying to do burnouts and spin the truck around a lot. It's trying to hold yourself in it pretty well. But I did get some engine mounts coming off of eBay. The transmission cross member that Motion makes uh, to bolt a power glide right into a stock chassis. And also the muscle car GM pan, which is supposedly the right pan to use to give you some decent clearance but also clear the cane member without having to cut it and notch the uh, cane member or cut it out and add a bar. So trying to keep it simple, uh, trying not to, to do too many custom things because if something happens, we go full send, we break an engine somewhere, hopefully we can just swap it out pretty easy and uh, keep rolling. So Alex is here, uh, came by, he's ready to get this stuff ripped out of here. He's pretty excited about this build. So get to work on this thing or what? Yeah. <laughs> So shout out to the guy that worked on this thing before because he took most of it apart. The motor mount bolts were already out and everything. Uh, three of the four exhaust bolts were out. Ended up cutting it a few times. Got the tranny cross member out of it. So if none of you guys have messed with an S10, uh, tranny cross member usually goes across here. We got that taken out, we dropped this, and now we got a trans jack sitting here. Uh, we're gonna lower the trans jack and hopefully, rotate this engine up and out and get it out of here we're getting real close alex is pretty gung-ho on this one but so that's probably been like two hours uh, we had to pull out the o2 sensor uh take off this motor mount to allow it to rotate do a few things like that and then we ended up fighting this harness because it was on the wrong side of the transmission dipstick so we had to pop the transmission dipstick out to get the harness back behind it unplug a bunch of stuff and hopefully now we can get this thing out of here. Ooh, so the engine's out. 700 R4's out. Still got some cleaning to do. We pretty much kept the whole entire harness together. So I'm not sure how much that we will or won't need. I know that like the headlight harness and stuff over there is there. So I'd like to keep that um, just in case we ever do any little bit of street driving with this thing. Even though that's not really the intent. But yep, so engine's out couple hours worth of work we got the tranny and engine and everything out and there's the 48 so got the parts coming for that to get it shoved in here hey everyone doing a little time jump on you uh, a few days later Alex and I worked on this thing some more didn't do a bunch of videoing but I figured I'd catch you guys up on this thing we also decided to remove the heater core I was gonna keep it but I was like that's just gonna get in the way of building headers and all that it's only needs to do one thing and that's big burnouts so we took a crash course 101 in removing an AC heater core which is a few screws on the outside a few screws on the inside you even remove this little um, window here out of the glove box so you can get to a few bolts there and then that helps you pull uh, it off you end up taking the cover one half of the cover off and dropping it out all in all you end up with a bunch of stuff like this and as you can tell we kind of were like screw it and just rip this thing out of there so it kind of broke in spots and we had a few bolts that wouldn't want to come out uh i don't even know how they'd expect you to pull it all out with these still attached but we don't need it so cut them off right uh that's the inside of a heater core if you will and blower motor all that stuff oh yeah that's nice but yep so that's out we also came back here and ended up pulling out the gas tank, a couple straps, cut some lines because we're not going to reuse that. We'll end up going to a fuel cell in the bed uh, with just A in line off of it or whatever. And no sense in having this next to a tire that's going to be blowing up, possibly catching fire multiple times since the tank sat right there. So that's all gone. Need to do some cleanup here. Uh, still trying, I need to try to get rid of this thing. Gonna put some of this stuff outside. So I have the parts coming to get the engine mocked up and everything. 
So that is what's going to come next. So if you'd like to see more on the LS Swap S10 burnout truck, please hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.